born just years after the Civil War, transforming over the decades into a national day of observance. The men and women at Fort Benning doing their part to honor their fallen brothers and sisters on Memorial Day. A poignant ceremony right in the main cemetery where hundreds of soldiers and their families now rest, men and women who sacrificed their lives in defense of this country. Among those gathered, top brass on post, Gold Star families, veterans, and lawmakers. Fort Benning's commanding general, Gary Brito, spoke to the audience about today's recognition and the legacy of the fallen. Memorial Day can be a difficult time for many, and although they are no longer with us today, we have every reason to be inspired by their service dedication, their leadership, and most importantly, their patriotism. What is now called Memorial Day was first formally observed in 1868, when families and veterans decorated the graves of both Union and Confederate soldiers. The flowers and flags now laid before these tombstones, tokens of eternal gratitude. I am very thankful for the path they laid for me and for all of us, men and women who have served the country dutifully and helped shape our proud identity. In Fort Benning, Jose Zosiah for News Leader 9.